A few months ago, I reviewed the 220 watt under desk heater that I bought myself from Herschel Infrared. Well, meet its big brother. Herschel Infrared have very kindly sent me the 500 watt version of their portable heater to review and I've been putting it through its paces, so let's go over what I thought of it. If you saw my review of the smaller heater, you'll know that I absolutely loved it. I still have it sitting under my desk in my study and during the last few weeks of sub-zero temperatures in the UK, it has been amazing at keeping me warm with no other form of heating needed whilst I've been working. It's compatible with Toya Smart Life, so it connects to Home Assistant quite easily and all I've been doing is tapping an IKEA Smart button every hour which kicks off an automation to keep it running on a timer. Now, the 500 watt panel is very similar. It's got all the same smart connectivity options, it's the same thickness, so basically it's not very thick at all, um, but it is taller and wider and has more than twice the power output. It arrived well packaged and took next to no time at all to set up. All I needed was a Phillips screwdriver to tighten up the screws on the feet. I then noticed the first big difference between the 220 watt and the 500 watt panels. The bigger panel does not have a foot pedal. To control it, you either need to use the control panel on the side or connect it to the toy wrap. Obviously, I chose the smart option, which is remarkably easy to use. Uh, you can use the recommended Smart Life app if you want, or the Toya branded one too, like I've done. The only reason I've used the official Toya one is because I'd already got some other devices set up in there. They're basically both exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. Once you have it in the Toy app, you can control it from there or pair Toy with Home Assistant and use that for control or automations. If you go with the local Toy integration in Home Assistant, then you'll want to know the correct data points or DPs to set it up properly. I'll stick these on screen right now for you to save you having to figure them out for yourself. This panel is not intended to be the main heating for a room. It's just not powerful enough for that and that's not what it was designed for. It's a portable heater and I found it works best if I position it about one and a half meters away from our sofa, pointing straight at us. When I recline my seat, my feet are close enough to be very warm and I can still feel the heat from the panel on the rest of my body. If I position the heater further away, say by my fireplace, then that nice warm effect is lost a bit. But the heater is still working because if I step outside the room for a minute and come back in, you can feel the heat difference straight away. But I'm going to take you now to the coldest room in my house during winter, and that's my conservatory. So I thought I'd try and be a bit more scientific about how I demonstrate the effectiveness of this panel. Because uh, it's all very well me standing in front of it and going, oh, it's really nice and warm here. It's not quite as warm here. Um, so I've set up this tape measure along the floor. I've got this infrared thermometer here and I'm going to take some temperature readings at different distances just to show you what it's like as you get further away from the panel. Um, so you can see at the moment if I take it, I've let it get up to full temperature and it says 73 degrees. It takes about five minutes to get there. So if I just first of all take a reading at half a meter away, that's 72 degrees. I can still feel how warm that is. It's not a problem at all. That's really good. Um, at one meter away, it says 56 degrees. I can still feel the heat coming from it and it's still really quite comfortable at this distance. I'm going to jump back now to uh, two meters. So just stick my arm in shot and take the reading. That says 36 degrees. So you can see 36 degrees on there. And that's still quite warm. I'm quite happy with that, but it's obviously much nicer when you're within this sort of first meter, meter and a half sort of area. Turns out that this panel is pretty good at keeping you warm in a conservatory. I didn't expect that. It's really cold in here, about two degrees at the moment, but the projected heat from this panel means that I am very warm. Even if I wave my arms around, I can feel that the air is cold, but I'm really comfortable. Um, normally, I would stick that two kilowatt heater on in the corner. It would take about half an hour to warm up before I could actually use the room, um, waiting for all the air to warm up. But this is using a quarter of the power. It takes, what, five to ten minutes to heat up. And I'm sitting here right in front of it, very comfortable. Obviously, it's only heating me, so you've got to be a little bit selfish in that respect. But if it is just one person watching TV in a room like this on their own, then, you know, it's perfect. 
I have to balance this review out a bit and talk about a few minor issues I have with the panel though. Just like the 220 watt panel, this 500 watt panel shares the same issues. It beeps every time you change a setting with no option to disable that beep and it never remembers the previous state after a power failure. So if you have this in smart mode and there's a power cut, when your power comes back on then the panel will turn itself back on to the maximum temperature regardless of whether it was turned off or not before. If you use Home Assistant, then I came up with an automation that you can use which will detect this and if you follow the link in the description to my website, you'll find that on there and it's easy enough to copy and paste it. Now I posed these concerns to Herschel Infrared and they got back to me saying that these issues have been taken on board and they are in the process of a production run of panels that address these issues and more. In fact, the list of improvements on the way are the option to enable or disable the beep, remembering the state after a power loss, a child lock, um, option to do a factory reset, the ability to calibrate the temperature and energy monitoring via the app. These updates are coming to new panels by spring 2023. After using this panel and the smaller one for some time now, I'd like to add one more thing to the wish list. These are portable heaters, but due to their size can be a bit tricky to carry around. Not because they're heavy, because they're really quite light, but just because of their physical dimensions. They could do with some sort of carry handle or some way to make it easier to grip. Uh, if the panel has been on, it can be quite hot too for several minutes afterwards, so some handles would really help. I'm not sure how you'd do that without ruining the slimline look of it, but I'm sure there must be a way. I'm just being picky now anyway. Even with that beep, my wife told me it's a non-issue. I guess I'm just sensitive to beeps. Overall, this is a great heating panel for supplementing your existing heating or as a temporary quick source of heat in a specific spot in a cold room. I'll put a link to the Herschel Infrared website and a link to the panel itself down in the description so you can take a look for yourself. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.